Okay, so today we're going to try out a couple of patches. We've got the Polymega EM02 module, which is the Super Nintendo slash Super Famicom module. We're going to try cartridge-based patches today. These are a couple of the games that I know have patches that work with the Polymega. We're first going to go ahead and try out Ranma Chogi Rambu Hen. Jesse, if you could do me the honors. He's going to go ahead and insert the cartridge in the system. As you can see, we have our Super Famicom controller plugged in. I have a Fatal Fury Super Famicom controller I really like, so that's the one that's plugged in. Once the game is recognized, you're going to go ahead and hit the Y button to manage. You're going to go to Add to Collection and Install. It's going to verify the installation, where to install it. And after it's installed, it only takes a second or two with ROM, so I'm going to go ahead and show it in the collection. It's there in the collection. We're going to go ahead and play it. If we go to Play, we can now select the patch. So we're going to point it to the patch for this. This one is labeled as Ranma Hard Battle 2. We're going to select that. Now we're going to go ahead and start the game. And we're going to go ahead and see if our patch worked successfully. And so far it looks like our patch does work successfully. This is the title screen. We're going to go ahead and select story because that's where all the text is. One day a letter arrives for Ranma. You have been selected to receive a golden opportunity. There we go. So Ranma one half Chogi Rambu Hen works with the English patch just fine after we've installed and patched the game. So now we're going to go ahead and try out Star Ocean and see if this works. This is even more impressive to me if it works with this because of the fact that this is an RPG game and there is a lot of text. So we're gonna go ahead and try that now. I'm gonna go ahead and give this to Jesse. He's gonna go ahead and insert it into the console. He shows it on the camera, but it comes out super blurry. <laughs> but you can see it in the console. It's gonna go ahead and seek for the game. It recognizes the game. Once again, we're going to go to Y to manage. We're going to add to collection and install. It's going to say that uh, blah, 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 such space, where to show, show in collection. We're going to go ahead and pull it back up in the collection. You go to play. Then we go to select patch. And this one, I believe, is StarOceanEnglish.ips. We're going to go ahead and start the game. And the game's text should be in English. The intro itself is a bit long, so I'll go ahead and cut it to the part two where uh, we have actual English text next. All right, sorry about that. We had to fast forward really quick so that we can get to the part to where we have text. But as you can see, we actually have English text now in the game, which is awesome. And uh, I've never played any of the Star Ocean games, so I'm actually kind of excited. Maybe I'll try it with this one. And uh, who knows, maybe I'll become a fan of it. But there you have it. Those are a couple examples of installed cartridges with applied English patches on the Polymega, and it works great. Uh, not all patches do work. It really depends on who made these patches for, the, for these different games, but uh, there are a good number of them that do work and it's exciting. And this is one that a lot of people wanted to see if it worked and it did, which is really cool. But uh, that's it for this little video here. Thanks everybody for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.